hey you guys it's Kristen welcome back to another video today we are at Walgreens I'm here for the second time this week this time this is more on the beginner friendly side of things all digital um I would say anyone can do it but I am taking advantage of a spin booster for spend 20 and get back five dollars in Walgreens cash now the purpose of this video is of course one to help newbies as well as two I just want to show y'all how to really maximize your savings at Walgreens by using the rewards from one deal and applying it to a next and so on and so forth um yeah I don't know what else I really need to say I'm just really getting started now I do have videos posted for Walgreens and CVS posted for this week go check them out I have some amazing deals this week is actually really fire uh, for both stores especially CVS so definitely go check that video if you haven't already if you're not a subscriber, definitely hit that subscribe button as well as give this video a thumbs up. No long intro, guys. We're going to hop right into it, doing some beginner-friendly, all-digital deals. Now, a few things to note. When using a spin booster, you must reach that threshold before coupons um, as well as before tax. So we need to get our subtotal to at least $20 to take advantage of that spin booster. Now this week, there are select products that are on a promotion that when you buy two of them, you will get back a $4 Walgreens store um, registry reward. Now say you want to take advantage of multiple deals of that, you make sure to do them in separate transactions just to ensure you get that registry reward. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick up one of these Chris mouthwashes priced at $4. My store is not tagged, but we do have a $2 digital. And then I'm also going to pick up one of these floss sticks, the Oral-B Glide, on sale for $4. And we, two, we have a $2 digital for this as well. So this deal by itself will total out to $8. We have $4 in coupons. So you would pay $4, get back a $4 reward. We'll make these completely free. And yes, you can use Walgreens Cash if you're doing this deal by itself. Picking up some more oral care is going to be on the Colgate toothpaste. So select products, again, my store's not tagged, but they're on sale for $3.99. And when you buy two, you will get back a $4 rest reward. Even though my store is not tagged, it's the ones that's regular price at $4.99. But then, of course, you can always just scan in the app. So two of them will total out to $7.98. We do have a four off of two digital. So leaves you to pay $3.98, getting back a $4 rest reward. Again, makes these free. If you're doing the deal by itself, you can use Walgreens Cash to pay. So the seventh generation is on sale that when you buy one, you will get back $2 of Walgreens cash. Um, now I did scan these, they are on sale for $3.19. So if you buy one um, and then get $2 back, it makes them $1.19. This spray is $3.59. So if you wanted that, it will end up $1.59, um, which is not bad. And I know a lot of people be asking me about more natural products. So I think this is an actually pretty good deal. You could use Walgreens cash to pay, but we're not going to. And then to get us to our $20 mark, we're going to pick up this palm olive dish liquid on sale for $1.25. We do have a 50 cent digital dropping it down to just 75 cents. So I'm going to pick this up and put it in my cart and then go over the final numbers for this first transaction. These products will total out to $20.42, which is perfect because remember we need to be at $20 to take advantage of that booster. After all of those digitals, it will drop it down to $11.92. You want to pay that out of pocket. But then you're going to get back a total of $7 in Walgreens cash, five for the booster and two for the seventh generation, as well as $8 in risk rewards, four for the Colgate and four for the Crest, making this not only free, but a $3.08 moneymaker. And then we're not done there. We're going to take those rewards and pick up some more items to keep our out of pocket as low as possible. Now for our next transaction, we're going to be picking up some laundry products. So this week, the Tide Simply and Downy products are four for nine or $2.25 each. Um, you can mix and match. Now, if you were doing this deal by itself, again, you could pick up nine of them and use Walgreens Cash or any rest rewards you have to lure you out of pocket. But yeah, so I'm gonna pick up four of them. It Again, it doesn't matter. But let me pick up the four that I want and I'm gonna put them in my cart. These four products will total out to $9. We're gonna use that $4 rest reward that we're getting from that first transaction. That's gonna drop it down to $5. And then we're going to use $5 in Walgreens cash that we also got from that first transaction, leaving us to pay nothing but the tax out of pocket. So say you were doing this deal, you weren't doing anything else, but you wanted to pick these up, throw in a dollar filler item and use $10 in Walgreens cash. You could do that as well. Now we still have a $4 rest reward as well as $2 in Walgreens cash from that first transaction. So let's use that to pick up some Scott paper products this week. So this week, the paper towels and the toilet paper are $5 buy one, get one 50% off. 
So you pick up two of them, mix and match, it doesn't matter. That will total out to $7.50. Throw in that other $4 rush reward, which will drop it down to $3.50, and then the remainder $2 in Walgreens cash, leaving you to pay just $1.50 plus tax. Um, again, just trying to keep that out of pocket as low as we can. All right, you guys, so here is a recap of everything um, that we're getting today. Not too bad. We're picking up, picking up a lot of goodies. Only thing we really care about is that out-of-pocket cost. So out-of-pocket for everything right here would be $13.42, of course, plus tax out-of-pocket. Um, not too shabby. In my opinion, not bad at all. Um, I hope you guys, I hope this is helpful at least. I'll say that. I hope this is helpful and you understand what I mean when I say use your rewards from one transaction and applying it to the next to keep that out of pocket low. That's what we really care about is what we're paying, what we're swiping, what our debit card, what cash we're actually handing to the cashier. Now, the only issue I may have will be for the Colgate because yesterday when I did the Colgate deal, the rest reward did not print for me, but I haven't seen anyone else um, struggle with it. So I guess I'll see at the register. If so, that will make my total $4 more at $17.42, but I guess we'll all just see at the register. So let's head up to the front. All right, you guys, so I made it back to the car. Let's go over these receipts. The same thing happened to me, y'all. That Colgate Coop uh, rush reward did not print for me. Now, I don't know if it's just my store because I haven't seen it anywhere else where people are having issues with that Colgate rush reward printing. Um, but everything else went exactly the way it was supposed to. So the first transaction using that spin 20 um, booster, all the items rang up the way it was supposed to. Absolutely no hiccups at all. All of the digitals came off. Um, so it dropped it down to $11.92 like we planned. You can see I got back $7 in Walgreens cash. I'll pop it up on the screen, um, the picture of the receipt and the rest reward because I did use it so I can't show it. But I did get only one rest reward and that was the one for the Oral-B deal. I did not get the Colgate rest reward. Um, so yeah, I don't know what's up with that. And no, it's not because I did two rest reward deals in the same transaction. Because as long as they are separate um, rest reward deals, you can do, you will get both of them. I believe me, you will. Now, if you're doing the same deal, like the deals of the week or something like that, then yeah, only one will print, but they are completely different deals. Um, so I should have gotten both of them. But the same thing happened to me yesterday. Um, so instead of it being free plus we, what we said a three dollar and eight cent money maker it was just it cost us 92 well it cost me 92 cents for this transaction which is still isn't bad and then i still took the walgreens cash that i made from this and i still took that rest reward and applied it to other transactions to keep my out of pocket as low as i could so let me show you the second receipt so for the second receipt i did the four for nine on the laundry products um, again, everything did ring up the way it was supposed to, math, everything. So I used that one rest reward that I had, which dropped it down to $5, like I said. And then I did redeem $5 in Walgreens cash. Um, so I just paid the tax, which for me was like 38 cents. So still keeping it under $12 so far. Um, well, a little over 12 if you count tax. But then I did one final transaction picking up the Scott. So then I still picked up the Scott at buy one, get one 50% off. Remember, you can mix and match, get two of one or one in, in one. It doesn't matter. But that brought it to $7.50. Now, what was supposed to happen if I had that other rest reward, I would have given her that rest reward. It would have dropped it down to $3.50. And then we would have used that remainder, um, what, $2 that we would have had. So you will be paying $1.50 plus tax out of pocket. Um, That's if you don't have any. If you're walking in the store with absolutely no Walgreens cash, that's how it would have went. Um, I did have $2 on this account. Um, in Walgreens cash. So the two plus the two from that first transaction, I did have $4. So I did use $4 in Walgreens cash. So um, it left me to pay $3.50 out of pocket. Um, what is, let's see. So for me, this transaction, it was supposed to be $13.42, but it cost what? What's $4? $17.42 for all this stuff, which isn't terrible. Well, for me, it's not ideal, but for a very beginner friendly like not knowing and trying to understand that's not bad at all picking up what we picked up um let me know again how you feel about these deals and these transactions let me know if you want me to keep doing them especially by um smashing that like button so that i know because if i see that i'm getting good feedback on these videos i will try to do these weekly 
every week showing you a beginner friendly only using digital coupons even if i don't get a booster because not every time every you get a booster even if i don't have a booster i will still show you how i would go in the store and keep that out of pocket low but i want to make sure you want to see it but that's all i have let me know guys i love y'all and until next time i'll see you in the next one. Oh yeah i start school tomorrow so i'll let you, i don't know if i'll be couponing tomorrow but if not i'll talk to y'all uh probably like on instagram or something to let y'all know how my day going but yeah i love y'all until next time see you later bye